a lot of our products are based on us being USDA and stuff that come through a single source or because you got to always be able to track that of a farm, like where it's coming from right to the actual table. And I've lived a life of health and fitness longer than anybody I know. And, and I started eating correctly at nine, 10 years old on a nutrition plan. Hey guys, I got a special, special guest today. So coolest thing in the world is that um, a friendship that I created years ago uh, grew so well that uh, this man became uh, a godfather to my son. Um, so we have the owner, the creator, the president, the CEO, everything you can think of for Icon Meals on with us today to talk to us today. So please, if you can, today's questions should be about food. Let's see. That's, my your discipline. I'm using your pump. Can I mix it with creatine after the workout? Yeah, you can mix it with creatine before the workout. I, my recommendation. Um, why after the workout? I mean, for me, I do it after the workout too, but I do it for energy-wise um, to keep moving through the day. Why do you do it after, not before? Let me know. I'm curious to know. Darren Bobo. Mary says, uh, beef liver tastes straight up like um, iron. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, we got the sexy man here. We got the sexy, the man, the myth. Todd, again, is uh, the godfather to my son, Titan, um, and is uh, a very, uh, what do you say? He lives by his actions. Let me just say that from somebody that's known him for a long time. He doesn't talk about his actions. He just does it. Right. And I, I, to me, I'm sorry, with society and social media like it is, uh, it's nice and refreshing. He's not an echo like most influencers are, just echoes of other people. He's a, a single individual doing it his way, and, and he doesn't talk about it. He just does it. So questions today would be around food. I think this is the real important thing. You guys got an expert or somebody that's really in this stuff. Um, so let's 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 get him in and let him lead us to this promised land. Mr. O'Hearn. Look at you standing and doing this. You're gonna make me feel lazy. I know. Talk Trying to, to get me. Uh, get as buff as you. So. Uh, so I told these guys I would like, regardless of what you want to ask, I would love some questions and answers from these people out there around the world to really get into depth on, on questions that they keep, uh, they read one thing and then see something else. And like, for example, today, one of my clients was talking about his salmon and he's talking about how he gets this. Uh, what was the, what was the one search? The salmon he gets Atlantic. The Atlantic. Atlantic salmon, but Hey, I get it fresh. I get it out here in the ocean and all this and that. And it's, and it's less fat and all this stuff. And I'm like, Wow. For me, uh, I would do the farm, uh, which has twice as much fat in it. Uh, so I'm just, I, I I don't know as much as you on this. I just understand what I think I should eat and why I would eat for something like salmon. I wouldn't want a low fat salmon for yeah. me. I would want a high fat salmon. So I think there's a lot of, uh, I call it misrepresentation and misinformation out there. A lot of people have been led to believe that, hey, farm raised is bad and this and that, right? And when you say farm raised, there's a lot of different definitions of what farm raised is. And then people say, oh, my salmon's organic and it comes from the middle and it's real cut and shit. You, you see some friggin', I don't know, guy out of a kayak with a friggin' single line catching this salmon, right? It, so a lot of them are um, in the US and I'll call it offshore in different places, not necessarily just the Asian countries and stuff where when you say farm, they are ocean raised, right? But they're I'll call it farmed when big nets open. It's the same thing, the same concept as when you say, hey, they're not caged chickens while they're running on a farm, whatever. It's the same sort of ordeal. So I think a lot of people use a lot of, I'll call it buzzwords in the industry. And the buzzwords are that organic or farm raised, or it's the same thing as, um, I don't know. There's a lot of so keto buzzword, right? So there's a lot of different those words being thrown, and then people don't fully understand what that is. And it goes back to the quality of, of fish that you're getting, or beef, or whatever it is. But what's the, the the source from? And again, a lot of our products are based on us being USDA and stuff. They come through a single source, or 
because you got to always be able to track that of a farm, like where it's coming from, right, to the actual table. And I think um, there's a couple of big companies that own a lot of the major companies that, hey, they might be named ABC, but they're really owned by this conglomerate or whatever, right? So I think at the end of the day, it comes down to you really understand the, the relationship of the, whoever you, the partner you're buying it from. But then again, how that's um, the whole, I guess, ethically, if you want to say processed or, or raised, whatever, but it's not from um, always. And again, when you look at it, Mike, you know this, you can't on quantity have some guy fishing into a kayak catching all these damn fish and stuff, right? It's the same thing. Well, as wait a minute. I have Jeff go out every morning. <laughs> Jeff and Serge go out and get me my tilapia, my, my, unfarmed tilapia so let me stop you for a second just jump back for a sec because if you guys are all out there i feel bad growing up what i did because i i was privileged to the 70s and 80s where you go in to get your salmon you go in to get your salmon you know and it wasn't a, a mislead on or or people trying to go no 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 this salmon is better than that salmon or this salmon is uh, gluten-free baked in the air from an alien plant put it on your planet and now it's makes you superheroish compared to this one's going to give you cancer it seems as like it's that far pushed today to sell something when they're both salmon at the end of the day and they're both they're both great and they're both this one's 10 times more expensive and the person that's trying to eat healthy believes that it always has to be the more the most expensive fancy thing like Whole Foods or something. Where to me, I I, I don't shop at Whole Foods. It, yeah, but that's just, what everyone's led to believe our society, right? I think the more something that. costs, there's supposed to be more value and it's supposed to be better for you. When half the time it's just marketing bullshit that really isn't what it is. It's like all the companies out there that say, "Hey, we're 100 percent, we use 100 percent everything organic." Bull fuck, you can't. Like it's you can use a lot of things organic and there's a lot of different things, but not every single thing in volume is going to, to be from that source. And I think again, what they're feeding the fish, right? The environment. So if they're in some friggin', I'll call it farm where it's a bunch of garbage and shit where like carp and stuff would feed on the ground. That's different because that's what the salmon or, or whatever fish or whatever animal it is, is intaking into their body, which then you're in turn ingesting it. Doesn't matter how it's cooked. Right. But again, when you say farms and stuff, there's all these ethical standards of, you know how you guys work with PMTs and stuff, right? How they're raised, you've seen it. So again, there's a little bit of a difference, but the, at the end of the day, most of these big companies aren't doing illegitimate crap that they're feeding them X, Y, Z garbage, right? So from that standards, there is, a, I'll call it a standard. And if you know, and you have a relationship with your vendor and stuff, that should be coming across. It's not like, okay, you're always going to get like, I see a lot of that. It's like law, like if you go into a restaurant, you'll see like, hand whatever fished or hand whatever line whatever line caught right but again I don't hold know. on hold on i'm new to this yeah. explain what that means so line caught means that some freaking dude or girl is actually fishing on a damn boat and they're catching all these animals Fish. rather than in nets they're catching them online so it's line caught tuna or it's line caught whatever and that's again to me it's more marketing stuff but so wow i don't know I feel, I'm sorry, this is, you. we can cut this from the video, but I feel bad for the individual that looks at that and goes, that's what I'm having. Yeah. That's a weird, I, I don't okay. know. So there's a I lot of people out there, time. again. I grew, you know, I grew up in a different time and yeah. I know, I, I am intelligent enough to understand that marketing is marketing. Um, some people are going to try to push one thing over the other, but at the end of the day, nutrition for me, especially, is a huge portion of my budget. And I don't want to triple that budget yeah. if tripling it isn't going to give me this magic ending that just eating consistent and smart will do. Yeah, I this, think that's this expense. Yeah, I think that's more what people should be focused on is really a lot of people that are the people that complain about that or I'll call it the snowflake, the, the high end or whatever they want. Right. A lot of those people don't end up in the end wanting to pay for it consistently. But the other thing is, I think, is a lot of people have to really look at themselves and look dial back and say, hey, what are, are those that baseline for my diet? Right. And where like, hey, is it my cholesterol? Is it this? Like as long as you're taking in. And the biggest thing I think which most people see is getting away from anything processed. Right. And I know we're getting out uh, from salmon. But once you get away from like anything processed and you change to really like whole food, like I had a guy the other day, he's probably, I don't know, mid 50s, big trader, a retail trader, probably trading 50 million dollars of his own money on an annual basis, 
But this guy was, he's really, he has um, acid reflux really bad. He's got a couple other conditions, but this guy's stress level, as you can imagine, he's in front of the screen 12 hours a day, right? Trading and he eats pretty much whatever he's eating, right? And a lot of yeah. that is processed fast food, et cetera. He's been eating our meals consistently for probably about um, eight weeks now. And he said the absolute difference, he's been able to get off his acid reflux medicine and a bunch of other things just because when he really made the commitment to changing that, and that's going from someone who is eating a lot of process to what, what ours are, and our, he's just eating our standard signature meals, right? But even on that, he sees a night and day difference in his health, how he feels, et cetera. And it's crazy because he's been on this medicine for 30 some years and being able to get off um, from that. So there's a lot of benefits. And I think that's what people have to focus on more than, hey, where does this come from? If you're working with a reputable company, say Icon or whatever, that does have certain standards based on USDA and a lot of other things, right? Then it goes more into, I think, like what you can minimize within your current diet and stuff to make sure because that the product that we are providing, if it's a salmon meal or whatever, right, is going to hopefully be at some set standard. So I think that's less and less and more marketing buzzwords. If I was going out there and hey, hand line this, hand line that, great. Maybe I can get a few more bucks for it, but that's not what we're trying to do, right? I really like believe food at a base level is that tool or resource that can change people's lives if they really understand how to use it and implement it in their life. And I think that's the the big thing that um, you got to look at an overarching, I think, larger picture than rather just hey this and that. Um, but again, the biggest thing I say is just go to the reputable company, right? Like someone's not going to buy, hey, I don't know, like your series of supplements, right? It has a certain standard with BPI. It's a certain level, um, in, ingredient quality, etc. You don't have to worry. But if you go to XYZ new supplement company, that same product that they might market as, hey, it's I don't know, higher purity and all this shit, bullshit, right? It hasn't been around. It hasn't been. The, the qualifications, the clarity, the the um, I don't know chemical testing, etc. And it's the same with with food. So now let me jump back for a second because I want people to understand uh, for sure where I'm coming from when I come to this point is because uh, I've lived a life of health and fitness longer than anybody I know, and, and I started eating correctly at nine, ten years old on a nutrition plan, and I come from a family of ten. Uh, both parents worked and we had to help financially feed ourselves as well. And so, you know, paper route money doesn't pay big bucks, but I, but I budgeted it to where I was a tuna guy. I was uh, eggs. I was uh, noodles. Um, that's what I ate. That, that was my, my kid, kid meals, right. You know, going through um, uh, junior high school and high school feeding myself, that was kind of like my, you know, put, five to 10 eggs in a meal, uh, put some pasta in there, some noodles, I guess you guys call them uh, today. I call it all pasta, but um, and stir it up and that's my meal. You know, that's yeah, but so I, I think a lot of that is if you look at now, what everyone was saying for a while was bad, right? Egg yolks, bad, meat, bad, this and that. Okay. It's the same thing as this damn salmon you're talking about. If we take it back to that, right? If you look at all the, the studies and everything that's done, like if you follow like I know good friends with you, uh, Dr. Gabrielle Leone and stuff, right? But anything focused now, is really what has probably kept you healthy to where you are and have that standard, right? The, the, a lot of those things that they said were bad and this and that is, oh, there's different cholesterol drugs. Well, bullshit. Like a lot of the yolks, the meats, all the different things that you're talking about taking in when you're at nine and 10 are really the things that are, are like medicine for the body, right? And your your um, skin clarity, your aging, your all the different things that people are so anti on are, yeah. are what's made you where you are, right? And being able to help you hold muscle, build muscle, skeletal, like cleanliness, et cetera. So there's a lot of things that, again, are, are misrepresentation. And remember, a lot of things, as we know, especially over the past two years of everything going on, the media and everyone else is going to show us what only one one like slice of what they want to show us, right? There's not anything that's not going to benefit the, the, the sentiment or the standard that they want or a certain group or like, let's say, icon, right? Maybe if I was hey, held bets on one thing, I'm going to market to you or that one thing right? you're not going to see all the other things. So if I'm of the belief that, hey, egg yolks are bad and meat's bad and I'm all vegan, well, then that's the messaging coming in. I think that's a lot of our problem, I think, from a lot of these so-called gurus and dietitians and stuff out there today. So let's let's do this then today so we don't we don't confuse them. Let's not give them that market on the one side. Because that, like you said, I agree with you. I, I, I not only agree with your statement about the market or, or the news and all the television show you just on one side. I think it's so far-fetched that they could do 
take a term and make it a factual statement for them, even though it's not a factual statement, but society will believe that. 100%. No research on it right. and, and commit to that. And that will become their religion of this is what the best way to eat is. This yeah. is the. And like, you'll, you'll have people like be hell bent and mad even to the point, right? On like that one opinion based on. And then we've seen that for the past two years in multiple stances. So I, I think that's that's dictated by a certain group. And then it's. It's almost like that victim mentality, right? You have one person, you have another person fit on, another person, then it just becomes stronger, stronger, stronger sentiment. It's not any, I'll call it like science-backed data or anything as such. So 